there's the lake we're trying to get to. Welcome back to camp, everybody. We're just about to make dinner. It's what, about eight o'clock? I'm gonna make dinner from Mame. Oh my God, he still hasn't lost it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make dinner tonight uh, is steaks and a Caesar so. salad. So pretty simple. The uh, steaks are gonna be cooked. We're doing that inside, are we? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, long day for long us. Day. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna cook the steaks inside and then have a nice dinner and just kind of relax for tonight. And tomorrow we'll get up to an adventure. So let's we're gonna get, get some brookies, guaranteed. Well, we wouldn't guarantee nothing. We, we didn't even get any worms. <laughs> I I guess I got the half dead ones. Well, no, we go somewhere to get some worms tomorrow morning. Okay, we'll figure it out. Anyway, supper. Let's get on supper. We're just setting it up for the first time, so I always go and buy a new one of these every year. But uh, you gotta crack black Mediterranean sea salt and black pepper and garlic. So that's all I usually use on my steaks here. A good steak doesn't need any more than pepper and garlic, really, and salt. Look at this. So this is grass-fed. Jen likes grass. Well, I do too. Can't really afford to buy two grass-fed steaks, but uh, look at the color on that one. Okay, and then this is corn. And yeah, no, just a uh, huge difference in color. Yeah, um, usually a lot more like uh, I wouldn't say gamey, but a lot more beefy flavor to to grass-fed. Um, Wish you could buy more of that. You think that would be the cheapest thing going because grass just grows anywhere, but I don't know <laughs> why grass fed's got to be more. But you know, if somebody knows, tell me why. That makes no sense to me.
Sticks are smelling good, eh? Yep. Oh, I was expecting that to have like an inner lid thing for safety. It's hard for you, eh, making the instant salads? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> you squeeze that in your drink. Oh, just throw a lemon away. It's got chunks of. No, that's not going to be good. You left the crouton bag in there. There was no crouton bag. It's right in the side there. There's no crouton bag. <laughs> it's a big salad for two people, no? That's what I was thinking. The other one I looked at is smaller, but it was... It was too small. It was like a personal size salad. Perfect. Perfect. Well, the friends are out, Chew Bear. I'm actually surprised how many people are at the park tonight. Oh, it's a beautiful weekend. I know, but... You get 20 degrees in May, that's special. It is special. It's 25 today. How much sauce do you like? I usually don't have a whole lot of sauce in my salad. No? I know you like sauce. <laughs> well, I like all my pieces to have sauce. I think that's saucy enough. What do you think? Sure. You want it to hold your crew, your uh, the croutons that don't exist. <laughs> yeah, your cheese and, and bacon bits, don't you? There, my salad. It's been a long time since I had a T-bone steak. Mm -hmm. When you uh, leave your kids at home, <laughs> you buy the <laughs> wicked steak. <laughs> is it good? Perfect? The steak is wonderful. Good. <clears throat> Good morning everybody. We're just up making coffee and we're going to make some bacon and eggs. Something very simple for breakfast and then we're going to head out for, for some fishing. Hopefully we'll catch something today. Yeah, I haven't quite figured out where we're going to go yet, but uh, try something maybe new. Yeah. 
and it uh, looks like it's not too windy today so maybe I can get the, uh, the drone up. I haven't flown that for a while so um, that'll be fun too. So yep. Stay tuned. Yep, let's make breakfast. breakfast we'll take a look at the map and see where we want to go. Yep. Find some stuff with trail. Well we're off to go fishing guys. Leaving the campground now. We weren't gonna bring Chewy because he's uh, hard to fish with but he was attempting to break down the door so it is what it is, and Chewie's coming along, and hopefully the fish don't mind him this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're going to go see if we can get the truck down to Green Lake. We fished there before, um, but back then we had a much smaller SUV, so we're not sure if we can get the big truck down or even close. So we'll go see what's what and go from there. Well, we're on the four-wheeler trail. Found the first part of the trail. Now, hopefully, it doesn't get too narrow for the truck. <laughs> we have the uh, chainsaw with us, just in case there's any debris in the way. So, we might have to... There's always a chance, hey? Eh? Yeah, but it gets too scrapey uh, to turn around. Well, we'll just back up and find another lake. But see how this goes. So there's the lake we're trying to get to. We're still quite a ways up here. Got to get through all these trails one way or another. We just made our first right turn. Uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty narrow. Now the questions we got to ask ourselves are uh, if we go any further and we need to turn around, how hard is that going to be? I wonder if we can figure out how far we are away from there now and maybe just walk down. Interesting. We're three, almost four kilometers away. Oh, wow. I guess we could send the drone up and see what it... Maybe what it looks like. I don't know. Well, there's three different ways of getting in. We might want to turn around and go down this road here, maybe. Okay. Go down for Go down this one? Go down this one. Or that one. Other one, maybe? We could try? Try one of those. Okay. Let's back up. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> oh, what do you suggest, Rob? I'm not taking that out. The size of that thing. 
Yeah. This is going to be so much fun turning around. Um, how do you think we're going to turn around? There's a big. Right, I'm going to stick it up there. I'm going to back up this way and this way. There is a big ditch here, too. Yeah. This is the part where you exit the vehicle. Where I have to get out. And make sure I don't go down over the ditch. Okay. I will do that for you. <laughs> Well, here's the the ditch we're trying to avoid. So I guess Rob's going to pull up, try and go as tight as he can into that corner. And try to do a 20 point turn, I guess, to get out of here. Oh. Well, at least the bugs aren't bad yet. That's a positive sign. Usually we're getting eaten alive already. Okay. So, what I've learned now is this week the four-wheeler needs to get ready to come out here um, so we can get into these more complicated areas to get into. Uh, this is usually where relationships have fights. <laughs> uh, let's see how this goes. Hey, Jew Bear. You can't be whining here to distract me. I got. <sighs> Why did we take the dog? Hmm. One bonus about having a reverse camera. Stop! Ow! You're not guiding me, Jen. Smidge more. Okay. I'm <laughs> leaves for two seconds. <laughs> I could hear him losing his mind. <laughs> okay, I guess plan B, a different lake.
bit of a major fiasco. <laughs> I'm soaked. Everything I own is soaked. Because <laughs> Chewy decided that once we were getting into the canoe, it would be a great idea to try and go after the drone. So I got dumped with everything else. So we chose a different lake. Um, been here before. We've taken you guys here, I believe, ice fishing. I'm not sure about summer fishing, but for ice, for sure ice fishing. It would have been one of our first videos. So we're going to try and go for some speckled trout. Hopefully, after the morning we've had trying to find a lake and the dog dumping us, we catch a few. <laughs> just, uh, just for the record here. Uh huh. See, we got the camera on. Right. This wasn't your husband's fault, right? No, it was the dog. All right, you say. <laughs> yeah. So at least it's nice out. Could be worse. Right? It's gonna really blow us around, though. It is gonna blow us around. I wish we had our anchor with us. It's in the back of the four-wheeler at home, so we can't even go get it. It's proven to be a good day. Rob's already got one on. It's a nice size one, too. seen the shimmer of a fish so I'm just waiting for him to, to actually grab on oh it's got one on oh yeah another one and all I got is weeds again huh? yeah I guess I gotta get my dog come here Chewy That's another good one. <laughs> nope, sit. Sit. Sit, please. Sit. Oh. Did you lose them? <laughs> There's like a shelf here where the water gets dark. And that's where the little trouts like to be. And with the wind, it's really hard to keep keep the boat where you want it. Comes on to another fish, guys. Well guys, we're on our back, way back to the uh, shore here. They seem to have stopped biting, so we're gonna take the two fish Rob caught and go cook them at camp before we leave to go home for the day. So we'll see you guys back at camp where we're gonna cook up the uh, trout. Well, welcome back to the trailer. Um, yeah, we only got two, so um, I cleaned them up as much as I could at the lake, but I was gonna give them a quick rinse, dry them off, and then salt and pepper and get them in some butter that's all we have here anyway <laughs> I would normally put a little coating of a uh, flour in there too but uh, what did we have these in? Mm -hmm. I said what did we have these in? on the ground they were on the ground, so they got full of dirt and 
grass and stuff. I got brawl mine in the sink in case anybody's wondering why I'm not using the the tap. It's okay for cleaning dishes, but I don't use it for any food product. There's one. It's enough for a little snack anyway. Yeah, tie us over till dinner. I'll hold it. Pepper. This one. You gonna let me know when? Higher, higher, higher. There you go. Sides. Oh. This is just pepper? This is the pepper and garlic mix there. Smells good. Okay, and some salt some now. Sea salt? Sea salt. They got different. Ooh, you had to get that on a big mode? Oh, push, I don't know. push the top now. Push? The whole thing. There you go. Small mode now. I didn't know there was a different. Ooh. Man. Okay. I guess some will fall off the pan. There you go. Great. Put some butter in there. Lunch is served, guys. Well, it's more like a, a pre-dinner. It's four o'clock. <laughs> snack, yeah. You having any of this? Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's a lemon in there. Oh. Mmm. Save that one for you because I knew you were going to catch fish. You want to squeeze? Sure, I guess. Thanks. Lemon pepper. <laughs> Here you can have the other half. Well, it was a bit of a fiasco. I didn't. I don't know if you caught it on uh, video. Me falling in the drink with the dog, but uh, it was quite the morning. <laughs> Mame wasn't happy. <laughs> we had to work a little bit hard to get these fish. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video this week. Back to camping. Got some exciting things coming for this season. Nothing planned for sure yet, but <coughs> some good ideas. Here. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. 
they are. Really nice and fresh tasting. Actually, I think I like it better without all this powder on it. I know you probably don't because you have to eat the skin. Yeah, the skin's not as crispy unless you have flour on right. it. Right. Um, so here's something about me. I don't like killing fish. And it actually uh, makes me lose my appetite. So I used to cook the fish that I kill. <laughs> wait for Jen to enjoy it, <laughs> and then, and then I can, uh, I can get into it. I love fish. I <laughs> just if I have to, if you have to kill it, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. If I get into it and say it's good, does that make a difference? I don't know. But I say we should film you cleaning the fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are the perfect size. What do you think? Yeah, not too bad. Um, you can't really fillet a uh, a speckled trout unless you get a huge one. So better to cook it whole and. Uh, and eat off the bones. Yeah. That garlic um, pepper you have there is really good. Perfect with the sea salt. First catch and cook for the season. Well, not the new year. Of this, I mean, what I mean is like summer season. Mm hmm. Is it summer now or is it still spring? No, I don't think it's summer till like. The 21st or something, but it's like 20 degrees outside. It's beautiful. The wind is still a little nippy though. Especially if you're wet. <laughs> I know. I'm still a little damp at the end of my legs here, but it's better than it was. So I think we got to make it a goal to get the four wheeler out here this week. For next weekend, a long weekend. Yeah. Kind of going to be a crazy week for me, but. I know. Try. It really limits you unless you have that four wheeler. Uh, it does, because the truck is so big. Mm -hmm. And then you got the problem of trees that are falling or whatever. Yep. Too bad at all. Definitely a lot of trout down there, though. Mm -hmm. You can see them shimmering as they're coming to look at the worms. And the water's still really cold, so the, the fish tastes nice and fresh, eh? Spring trout. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to go after next weekend, then? You'll have to do some planning. Mm -hmm. Well, for a day where it was only 31% on the app to catch something, we didn't do too bad. Yep. That's something. You did, didn't do too bad. <laughs> I almost had three, but one got off there. Mm -hmm. You're messing around with the camera. I had a You're nibble too. I had a nibble too, but that's all it was. They're finicky. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well. Parcel all this up and come back into town. Yeah. I gotta work tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. So I think that's it for this adventure. Yeah. We will see you guys on the next one. Bye. See you. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. It really helps us grow our channel, and we appreciate everyone watching. Have a great week, everyone, and we will see you next Sunday.
for another adventure. <laughs>